So today, I'm going to teach you guys how to do some deadlifts, right? I actually prefer not to use a conventional barbell a lot of times. Um, not because they're like good or bad. I just feel like when I use the trap bar, it's significantly easier on my spine and it's so much easier for me to load up and like engage my core or rather to kind of like remember the cues in which to do so. So I'll typically use the trap bar. It just feels a little bit better. Um, the form roughly that I'm about to teach you guys, it's pretty much about the same for each. However, if you experience back pain or if you find yourself overcompensating, then maybe switch it up. See how you feel. You know what I mean? So now whenever we're doing a movement like this, we kind of want to just be aware of like our checkpoints here. We start from the feet and kind of work our way up, right? So my feet themselves are going to be about shoulder width apart, right? My legs are going to be parallel from each other, okay? Now whenever we're doing a deadlift, we're about to reach down and go grab the bar, we don't want to like lean forward. A lot of people like think too forward, right? In fact, we kind of want to like hinge or fold, right? So the best analogy I can give you is let's say if you just got a brand new car and you go grocery shopping, right? Put my groceries in the back of my whip, in my back seat, and then I get to my crib. Okay, great, right? I don't know about y'all. But I was always taught one trip. So I'm going to grab my bags, both my hands, right? I got no hands now. How am I going to close my door? It's my brand new car. How am I going to close my door? I don't want to use my, my shoes. It's about a brand new whip. I'm not trying to scuff up my, my car door. So I'm going to close it with my butt. And how am I going to do that if I close up my butt? Boom. Right? And so that's kind of the hip hinge we want to develop a little bit. We want to... Hinge to the hips, right? We don't want to bend the knees. It's not a squat. You're pulling, right? So if you bend your knees too much, you have to push back off the ground. We're not doing that. This is a pulling movement. And so we need to leverage our body in a way that allows us to pull. So I'm going to step in parallel with the, with the legs here. Hinge through. You'll notice my knees are slightly bent, but my hips always remain higher than my knees do. Right, which causes my back to stay straight because I'm not rounding or curving through, you know? So we'll shoot the hips back. Nice little hip pinch. Now, one thing that's very, very important is your gaze. Your body is always going to want to follow wherever your eyes are going. And so if my eyes are looking down, my body's going to want to go that way. If my eyes are looking up, my body's going to want to go that way. Look at my spine. That's not good either. That's a hyperextension. We don't want to do that either. We want to keep a neutral spine, so that means we need to keep a neutral gaze. So find a spot to look at. Now for me, it's not completely straight. It's just slightly down, right? And I'm going to just keep my eyes in that one spot. And then as I get set up, right, I'm, a, lot of, a lot of coaches tend to say drive through your heels. I disagree with that a little bit. And it's going to be the same for squats. We don't want to just drive through our heels, right? We want to distribute tension through our heels or from our heels to our toes. So the outside of your foot is where we want to distribute that tension at. And let me kind of demonstrate with my hand a little bit, I guess. If this was your heel and this was your baby toe and the toe next to that, the tension would be distributed here to here. So if you look at my foot, come here. If you look at my foot, what I mean is the tension start, or you want to distribute that tension through here to here, right? So we want to distribute that tension evenly, not just through the heels, right? So I'm going to set up neutral gaze, drive through the heels and distribute that tension evenly through the toes, and then tuck your chin into your chest. So it looks a little something like this.
let's talk a little bit about what you want to do with your chest and your butt. Now, whenever you're driving up, as I mentioned, you want to distribute that tension, heel to toe. But you want to engage your core, squeeze your abs while you're driving, right? You don't want to curb your spine too much because you're driving heel to toe and you're driving up, you get to squeeze your glutes. That's why you're tucking your chin, to squeeze your glutes. So if your core is engaged and your glutes are squeezing, your upper body should finish somewhere here. But if anything, it's a slight retraction of the shoulder blades, so you finish completely straight. So I'll demonstrate again. Drive through the heels, keep the core tight, squeeze your butt, shoulder blades are retracted, tuck your chin. So you finish like this.